Obviously, a hard-fought game. Really, really proud of our players. I thought uh, we played a winning football game in many, many ways. Ran the ball well, threw the ball well, played, played outstanding defense, got the turnover. Difference was the two turnovers, obviously, that hurt us, one, one, one really big one. Uh, but both led to scores, and uh, that was probably the story of the game at the end. The other story is our guys. You know, our guys, Tyler Huntley coming in and playing the way he played, I think, uh, coming off the uh, shoulder and the wrist injuries and uh, fighting his way back onto the field and just uh, just giving it everything he had and uh, that kind of a performance. Uh, Mark Andrews, I mean, coming up and just making play after play uh, in the passing game. Uh, offensive line, the way they blocked. Uh, J.K. and Gus, the way they ran. Uh, and then to the defense. I thought our defense was just all over the field, played great football. So uh, the key is we didn't win the game. We're disappointed in that. But I've got uh, nothing but nothing but admiration for our guys. I'm very proud of our football team. All right, what questions do you have? John, on that uh, third and goal with, with Tyler, uh, was there any thoughts, uh, you know, any discussions before that play of maybe giving it to, to Gus or putting JK in there and giving it to them instead? Sure. I mean, you decide whether you're going to hand it off, take it off the line and hand it back in the backfield or whether you want a quarterback sneak it. We felt we had a good call. It's a push-sneak play. Uh, um, you know, it wasn't executed just the right way. I mean, Tyler went over the top. That's a burrow play. He's got to go low on that. That's the way the play is designed. So uh, that, was, that was two to get it. Uh, you take it off the line of scrimmage, there's a chance. You know, you might score, but there's a chance it gets you in the backfield. Now it's hard to get it on fourth down. So two to get it there from inside the one. We felt like that was the best call. We just didn't execute, right? How you doing? Good to see you. John, the, when you look back on it, I mean, I know you got to look at some of the tape, but that drive, it seemed like and in the fourth quarter, you guys kind of ran out of time. Um, the, the final drive there in the fourth quarter. When J.K. caught that ball and got down there, you had about 30 seconds left. Then you huddled. Um, do you wish you kind of picked up the pace there? Yeah, the idea there was to save the timeouts for the red zone. I think the thing that killed us was the holding penalty, which knocked us back. And the idea was we've got time. We, we've got, we want to keep those timeouts to throw the ball. So, you know, we, we tried to pop a run there. We're going to call a timeout after that. And then we, then we, can, we still have run pass options. So... We, we didn't want to give the ball. We wanted to score without giving the ball back. We think we're going to be in the red zone. We think it's going to be just a certain number of plays, and it's going to work right down to the end of the game rather than maybe you score with 30, 35 seconds. You give them a chance to go kick a field goal at the end. So I think we played it right. It uh, didn't work out in the sense that after that we, didn't, we had incomplete passes, so you're not going to have a chance to call them. If you complete the passes, you get the ball back in the red zone, you call the timeout. So I think it's, you know, from an elementary level, you could say, ah, they should have called the timeouts. But we had the timeouts worked out right. Had three and outs against them. Um, what changed? They had, they had some success early. What changed defensively for you guys to really that really helped keep you there in it as well? Well, I don't think anything changed. I think we played really good defense the whole game. You know, we got a couple sacks. That was big. Got them down. Uh, forced them to hold the ball with really good coverage. Um, it's that kind of an offense. I mean, sometimes the ball comes out. They hit a couple, I think, deep outs on the drive before that. The one right before that, you're talking about where they went down, and got it, got into the red zone. But uh, I just think it's just a, a function of playing great defense. We played great defense really the whole game. Uh, they're going to make a few plays here and there, you know, but uh, uh, proud of those guys. John, what, did you, what did you say to the team in, in the locker room right after? I mean, what was kind of the tone of that? It was just what I just said. I mean, I'm proud of these guys. You know, I, we, we, uh, we played a great football game, and we had a couple plays that, uh, you know, we, we should have executed better, I guess. Obviously, it's turnovers, you know, in the end is the thing that gets you. But it's hard to play a perfect game in this kind of an environment. Um, I, I think, the, obviously, the biggest play is the, is the quarterback sneak. I mean, that's the play that, it turns the game. That's a ten, at least point swing. Maybe, a, maybe a fourteen point swing if we go for it and get it. At least a seven point swing. So um, you know, that's just what it is. What it is. Did you feel? I mean, I don't know. Feel bad for us the right way to put it. Maybe did it, did it strike you as cruel that Tyler had played such a great game and then that play happens the way that it did? I mean, it... I wouldn't use that term. Hi. Uh, was it? I think you know. J.K. had the touchdown catch in the first half, but was the preference to have Gus on some of those red zone runs as opposed to him? Just Both those guys can really run all the plays. I mean, Gus is a downhill physical guy. He's got a chance to, to, to slam it into the end zone. You know, I think I, I thought we would probably score on that play you're talking about, the power play right before that play. Had a chance to get in there. It didn't get in. I have to see the tape and see exactly why it didn't get in. I guess they played good defense. You know, give them credit. 
Uh, but who's in the game at that time is kind of – you've got two great backs. I don't think you can nitpick why was this guy in the game instead of that guy or why would your quarterback sneak it instead of taking it back and handing it off four yards deep. That's just after the fact, really. I mean, call the best plays that you think you have and, and, uh, and you're on them. John, uh, I know it's always like win-loss. You always want to get that win. But in a game where, as you know, not a lot of people even expected you guys to be close, is there any consolation for you know, taking this game – to the very end. Well, I mean, I just think that we, we came to win the game. We're good enough to win the game. I mean, I, you know, I'm not. I, they, people can say what they want about our team. You know, if they don't think we're a good team, then you know, they, I don't think they're paying attention. So, um, you pay attention. You know what kind of football team this is. If you win the game, then you, you prove it. You know, we didn't win the game, so they can continue to say what they want. But nobody in our locker room cares what anybody thinks outside of our locker room. So, people that know football watch the game. They know we got a heck of a football team. Uh, and uh, and. Uh, you know, the playoffs, you win, you lose based on a couple of plays going your way or not going your way. That's just how it always works. So uh, we're disappointed with that, but still proud of these guys. I mean, I love the way these guys play. I love these guys. How could you not? How could you not love these guys and how they fight through adversity and, and how they come out and, and compete? I mean, just, just put the tape on. If you want to watch a team that plays hard and is physical and loves football and plays the game the way it's supposed to be played, you know, ask anybody around the league. Teams that have to play us, what they think of these guys. So um, that's what I care about. Last one here. Is it disappointing to not have the fight and the chemistry and you know, the love that this locker room has be rewarded with another another game, another week to, to be together? Of course, of course it is. That's what you want. You know, you want to be back. You want to be back in the practice field next week. So uh, that's the that's, that's the toughest part.